making the most of a diversion away from class. Sacred Heart school pupils have been enjoying a fundraising market for those heading to camp on Stewart Island. Teachers say the preparation itself has involved a valuable lesson. It's awesome for them just to show that you know they you do need to work to make a little bit of money and um, camp is it's you know it's two hundred and fifty dollars and it just teaches them that it's money doesn't grow on trees and it's not just handed out. The Year 6 pupils heading to camp have been busy over the last few weeks, spending hours in the kitchen making sellable treats. Some of them have been baking for quite a wee while. I know um, Kate's been baking for a few weeks each night. But it wasn't just sugar tempting buyers at the market, where a range of creative crafts were for sale. Stalls offering accessories and playful wardrobe additions were also popular. One of the girls knitted some cats and owls with her nana. Um, we've got some hair accessories with bows and headbands and clips and things like that. For some of the children, the camp at Stewart Island will include their first fishing experience. Students will also be involved in activities with the Department of Conservation. But even this market fundraiser has them buzzing. I enjoyed selling my things and seeing all the happy faces after I was selling my gingerbread men. They've actually got some really cool stuff that they're selling, like relief funky but nice stuff that they're selling. Being able to fundraise and learn that money just doesn't come from anything, that you've got to fundraise sometimes to go places like Stewart Island for camp. I enjoyed everyone being happy and seeing everyone smile and selling my things that I made. The Year 6 pupils will be heading to camp on the 26th, ready to enjoy the fruits of their labour. Rosie Mannins, The South Today.